Hey all, this is part six, and we're gonna do an if statement with an array. So we're gonna complete a function that takes in two parameters, an array of agents in the field, and an agent to search for within that array. Uh, with that array, within that array? This should say within. Determines if the agent to search for is present within the array. Again, not really liking the within, uh, using with instead. So uh, determines if the agent to search for is present within the array, and if it is, returns a specific string. Your function should use an if statement to determine if the agent to search for is present within the, there's the within, within the list of agents, and if it is, should return the string agent to search for is present within agent list, where this uh, curly braces around agent to search for means that that's going to have the value of the argument the function is called on. Um, it's a, a way to kind of list the way that a string would look with uh, the value of a variable or a parameter or a, an argument. Um, you know, interpolated into the string. Now, this actually ends up looking rather similar to something called the uh, template literals, which was introduced in um, a newer version of JavaScript. Well, it's not that new at this point, um, but newer than like the very basic basics. Uh, not to be confused though, this isn't actual valid code here that I've highlighted, but it does kind of symbolize what valid code looks like in other languages and what a version of string interpolation looks like in JavaScript. Now I think at the near the end of module 2 I started using template literals just to show you what they're about um, but for now we're going to avoid using them. Uh, so below are examples of the code running assuming that you will have completed the described function find agent. So not that but this. We'll copy our stub, paste it in, copy our test cases and similarly paste those in. Uh, so if agent to search for is present within agent list. Now, if you recall in the documentation, the way that we're gonna do this is we're going to apply index of to the agent list, passing in the agent to search for, and if the value of that expression is greater than negative one, then we know there's a valid index uh, where agent to search for is located. If it's negative one, we know that the agent is not present. Um, This should say teeny. Okay. So, first thing, I'm gonna write an if statement and wrap it around my pseudocode. Second thing is I'm going to uh, write the expression which is going to check to see if the agent to search for is in the agent list by using index of and then passing agent to search for. And I want that to be greater than negative one. In the event that it's greater than negative one, we know that it's present, and so we'll return. And this is where we're gonna interpolate the value of the agent to search for into our string. So we'll say agent to search for plus a space is present with, wow, did really not like in writing within and during this, uh, this problem. So hopefully we'll change all of that. Oh, but is it gonna say the right one? Uh, we'll see when we get to the test. So is present within agent list. So let's run this. So 007 is present within the agent list, 007. Teeny is present within the list. Teeny is present within agent list. And undefined because orange is not present in our list of red, blue, green uh, agents. Well, let's copy our completed function, bring it back, paste it, run the tests, and we're in good shape. Excellent work. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.